Hey everybody, Mark Specta Comics, and I'm back. This time, I got a small haul and some kind of channel goals, comic goals for 2023. If you're interested in hearing what they are, stay tuned for that intro. All right, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. So like I said, I got a few things going on here for this video. Um, I got a really tiny haul that I ended up um, getting from CliffsCon in January. This was late January. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about the channel and some collecting goals for 2023. Um, if you've recently seen on the channel, I just recently hit the 1,000 subscriber milestone, which was huge for me. Thank you. Thanks for everybody who recently subscribed to the channel. I did a small post on IG as well. Um, I was surprised with a, a cake for my 1,000 subscriber milestone from my wife and son. So that was really cool. Um, so that was, like I said, I typically like to put it earlier in the in the year. It just, a lot of stuff's been going on, so I just haven't had the chance to. Uh, but ended up getting three books. I went to CliffsCon. So people in the southern New England area... Uh, are familiar with Cliffs Con? It's a small, uh, like you know, like uh, almost like a small convention. Um, happens the last Sunday of each month, and it's like local vendors, some small and some large vendors go up there and set up mainly comics. Um, you do have comics, um, toys, figures. So I saw some lunch boxes. Um, just mainly, you know. Just comics for the most part and um, I didn't do any any recordings because I just was limited on time and I just was one you know was with my son so I wanted to do some hunting and just you know got caught in the moment so I didn't get a, any recordings I did have one small recording um, that I did in the short box so I'll uh, insert that now so you guys can see um, one of the boxes I was looking through and then that will uh, kind of pinpoint one of the books I got I'm looking at books, buddy. No. Can I have a toy that from here? No. Why can't I? bought you comic books. All right, so uh, just showed you a small little Golden Age short box that I dig through, mm -hmm. duck through, and um, ended up getting one of the books from there. So I'll start off with that book. And uh, that was Suspense Detective, issue number one. This is obviously a 10 center. I think from, I want to say it was 1951. Mm -hmm. Let me open it up. It's in, it's in rough condition. But I opened it up just to make sure everything was there. And uh, so in June of 1952, um, like I said, I looked through it. I talked to the uh, the dealer there. It was in rough shape. It is essentially a big spine split going up to the top staple, front and back cover. Um, but it's all there. It's complete. It's a pretty uncommon um, title in the... Um, in the golden age, you don't see this too often, and it, it, it kind of hits on two categories, a crime and horror. So this is a pretty neat cover. Ended up getting this book and the next book for 35 bucks. And um, the next book, he had this one. So the suspense detective he had listed for 50 bucks. And then I told him, it was in, like I said, I showed him the rough condition, and I, I talked talk him down to this book and this book right here to 35 bucks. Uh, he had this one listed at 15 bucks. This is Polly Pigtails, uh, the magazine for girls, issue number um, 23. 
And uh, I've been collecting some of the holiday, you know, the Christmas covers. And this one's pretty cool. Um, never heard of this title. But uh, it's not an expensive book. You can get this book for like 10 15 bucks typically on eBay when it, when it does get listed. But I've never seen this book. And it's kind of like one of those um, provocative covers. You, you see uh, the girl that on top of the, uh, the ladder getting the ornaments and then like wearing a skirt and you get all the other girls looking up the skirt what it looks like <laughs> so but uh you know with all the gifts on the side it was a cover done by Vic Herman and uh this came out in December of 1947 so I got this book and the suspense detective for 35 bucks which I thought was a pretty good price the suspense detective is actually a pricey book typically even in this low condition it can go for over 100 bucks it's just something you don't see often. And then one of my goal books for 2023, uh, this is why I didn't get it, you know, now that I'm making the video now, um, this was the last Moon Knight book I needed to complete volume one. And um, I ended up meeting up there. I talked to Mike from Lunch Lunch Money Comics, and uh, he actually, uh, we met up for a little bit. We talked. Um, you might have seen the clip that he did on his video. I'll uh, drop the uh, link here. So you guys can check that out. He actually took a good recording of the of the VFW, which is where they do ClipsCon, to kind of just give you guys an idea of what the place looked like. And then uh, I also saw um, Everett Otto from Three Men in the Basement there. He was also digging as well. So I, I got a chance to talk to both of them, you know, just doing some hunting and so forth. But I told him, I told Mike that this was the one issue I was looking for. If you see it, let me know and so I can uh, finish the, the run. And I ended up going to one of the dealers, and I saw the book on the wall. So, uh, here it is. Moon Knight, issue number 15. And this is just a beautiful cover. Uh, kind of fitting that this ended up being the last book I needed to finish. Just just gorgeous. Um, there is some minor key appearance in here as well. That doesn't really matter. I think it's like first Xenos. He's like some rat, you know, vigilante or whatever. But um, it's just, it was beautiful cover. You know, you can see the, the cape there, the cowl. It's showing the crescent of the moon. And then you get the moon in the background. He's throwing, he's throwing his crescents. And it's just a beautiful black cover. So, yeah, I'm, you know, happy to finally finish my Moon Knight Volume 1. This was pricey. This was actually 35 He was, He had it for 40 bucks, which was pricey. I talked him down to 35 which me personally was still... I. I thought it was rather pricey. You know, you can get this book online for like 10 to 20 bucks. But like I had a goal for myself that I knew I could have completed the run buying the books online. But my goal was to, you know, buy all the books in person. And funny enough, when I talked to Mike when I was finishing up my uh, pickups, he actually found a book in a back issue bin that was listed for half off. The price was 35 bucks. And he got it for half off of that. So he ended up uh, scoring <laughs> and I overpaid, So uh, which was fine. No big deal. But, you know, I'm happy because I, I finally finished the uh, the run. So um, that was a quick haul. Very small pickups. My next one that I'm going to be recording is going to be a bigger bigger haul. Um, ended up doing a big comic crawl. But uh, going to the 2023 goals. Um, so one of my channel goals was to actually get to a thousand subscribers and as of this recording like I said I got to a thousand subscribers so uh, I'm, I'm happy um, been recording for on YouTube for about four almost four years or approaching the four-year mark so when I started off I never thought I'd be even you know close to that mark and I you know almost four years later finally got there so that's, that's I'm, I'm you know super excited for that I'm hoping that it sticks at the 1000 mark and if, uh, if it does, I'll uh, make a future announcement about the giveaway. Uh, so that'll be a live giveaway. You know, I have a bunch of books that I have saved up for a while because I think about five, six months ago when I was on the road to 1K, I had shown off the books and uh, there's going to be some more. And then I lost a bunch of subscribers randomly. So, uh, yeah, it's been five, six months <laughs> since then. But either way, it doesn't matter. Finally got there. Um, the other thing, channel goals, is to meet more community members. And like I said in this video, I ended up meeting Mike from Lunch, uh, Lunch Money Comics. 
So that was uh, somebody new I've met already for the year. Um, as of this recording, I've already done the Comic Crawl in Connecticut. I met another, I think a little over 20 community members. So that my goal, one of my goals was to meet more community members in the year prior. Uh, I think I met around 15 to 20 community members last year. So I've already surpassed that and it's uh, March. And that was basically from this uh, Connecticut Comic Crawl. So that's really cool. Hoping to meet some more in the future. Um, as for collecting goals, um, now that I finished my Moon Knight Volume 1, I'm kind of scratching my head on <laughs> what I want to start collecting now. Or should I, you know, I was like, oh, do I stop collecting, you know, because I, cause I finished uh, my Moon Knight Volume 1. I don't really have anything per se that I'm looking out there to purchase. Um, last year, I did start pivoting more towards Golden Age and Silver Age, and less and less from moderns um, just because of the volatility and you know obviously more of my favorite characters are from the bronze silver age more so than anything else and um, so I know in the golden age I want to collect more EC um, I've been collecting some of that weird fan fantasy weird science books that I showed off later in the year from 2022 I want to if I can in the wild look for some more of those or like in you know some auctions or whatever look for some of those cool weird fantasy covers that have the rocket panels or rockets on the cover it was a really cool um i'd like to pick up some probably some atomic bomb covers or uh some more sci-fi some sci-fi i still collect pre-code horror when they do come out and about but more people are getting into that genre as well so it's getting pricey or pricier than what it had been um, so I guess that's pretty much what I've been looking out to, you know, like, I guess seeking for the collection. Um, I do have a bunch of stuff in the PC that I have to, you know, consolidate, send out for grading, sell, just because I want to have a smaller collection. And right now I have a lot of books, at least for me, I have too much <laughs> that I need, especially for the limited space that I have. So um, that's kind of some of the uh, collecting goals, channel goals that I have for the year. Um, that'll wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe, like I said, if you haven't already. And until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out.